Hey everybody, so it is day nine of the RFT Momentum Challenge, and today I really wanted to focus on gratitude. Um, I, I think that is probably the biggest thing that I've really gotten from this challenge so far, um, consistently that I've noticed on a day-to-day -day basis has come up. Um, and not even just, you know, thinking of 10 things that I'm grateful for in the morning, but also just realizing that without that mindset of gratitude and being thankful for where I'm at and what's going on, and yes, I'm not perfect, but that's a good sign because that means I have things to work on and improve and gain momentum on. Um, it just shifts your mindset and how you function, how you engage life so much. And so I would just really encourage you guys that when you notice that things are getting depressing or you're just really feeling worn out um, as I've been the last couple days that you take that time and that opportunity to really focus on what you're grateful for because that is going to totally shift your mindset and turn around um, your your attitude and and how you're feeling about that day about that moment or whatever you're facing if you look for opportunities to be grateful to be thankful um, for what you have and what's before you, it's gonna totally open up um, potential for that day. So, you know, um, it kind of ties into something else that I was, or that I heard on an inspirational audio that I listened to during my workouts. And uh, one of the things that he says, and I can't remember the speaker's name, I feel terrible about that, but uh, one of the things he says that always sticks with me is, you know, one of the things we want more than anything is happiness, right? That's what everybody wants. They want to be happy. Um, but what we have to be really careful of is things that create short-term happiness. Because, yes, it might make us happy in the moment, but is it going to make us happy in the long run? And that's something that I've really had to question, too, because, you know, it's easy to make decisions that uh, make us happy in the moment. Or, you know, whether it's you're trying to stick to a diet plan. This is an example trying to stick to a diet plan and you're like man ice cream sounds so good right now you know and then you go and have that ice cream cone and it might make you feel absolutely fantastic in the moment but the next day or a couple days down the road when you go to weigh in that may not have as good of an effect and you might be feeling totally negative about that ice cream after the fact so you know it's just all about being strategic with your decisions obviously I'm not saying it's a bad idea to have ice cream ever. I am totally the first person that would go and get ice cream. That's my weakness. But you know, it's just being um, strategic about it and really just figuring out if that's a wise decision and looking for opportunities that say, okay, this might be painful in the moment, but in the long run, this is really going to benefit me and I'm going to see long-term happiness from this rather than short-term satisfaction. So that's my encouragement for you guys. Uh, comment below and tell me something you're grateful for or something maybe that you learned today. I'd love to hear it. Uh, just encourage you and support you in whatever you're going through and whatever journey and process that you're in right now. And then also, if you haven't joined the RFT Momentum Challenge, please do so. Guys, we're on the last leg, I know, but join us, be a part of it. And maybe even after it's over, you guys can start at the beginning, watch the videos and just keep yourself accountable or let me know that you're doing it and I'll encourage you and help hold you accountable or whatever you need. I'm there for you. I appreciate you guys watching my video and supporting me as I go through this challenge. And I just hope you guys have an awesome day. So let's do this. <laughs> Bye guys.